They said it was industry standard. They said it was indestructible. They said it didn't need a cloud lifter. My friends, today we're gonna to be doing an episode on the SM7B. And if you could barely hear me a second ago, that's cause I was talking through this mic. Now I'm talking through my lav mic and I think you understand where this episode's going. Well, by the end of this episode, we're gonna go over all of the issues that people have with this microphone and how we can correct them. So the SM7B, people will say, you know, famous microphone because Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on it or something. Sure, I'm, he did that, what, 40 some odd years ago or more. We're gonna talk about what's happening today. I think there's a few issues that people have with this and one of those things is definitely how to gain this thing properly now if you have a pretty nice preamp like some neve or api preamp then you're not going to deal too much with this issue but the noise floor of this microphone is not great. And when you're dealing with cheaper interfaces, you kind of need to understand that you're getting what you pay for, right? They can only put so much in this interface. You want them to put converters in here, a preamp in here, and now you expect that preamp to be strong enough to push a dynamic mic like this with its SPL level. Like it's not gonna happen the right way. Let's just be honest. So what we're gonna do is find a way to gain this thing properly, even when you have a cheap interface. Now, there are some tools out there that people get like, the cloud lifter, which I've used in the past. And you know, it does the thing pretty well, but I've heard about some new things on the market that really take this to the next level. So we're gonna actually go out, find one. And on top of that, we're gonna give one of them away to you guys. Not a bad prize for simply watching a video all the way through, am I right? So I called up a couple companies and all of the ones that I called were from recommendations I heard from people. And we ended up talking to Royer Labs. Now, Royer is infamously known for making the R121 microphone and it's pretty often paired with an SM57 on a cabinet. They also have the R10 and a bunch of other things, but they have a new device right now called the D-Booster. Why, why do we always get like the weirdest, like funniest names for these kind of things? Like middleman components, like a D-Booster or like a load box, like, you know? Like who, who's coming up with these? Names? Anyways, we're gonna head over to Royer right now. They're like 10 minutes away from the studio, so we're gonna go pick these up and then we're gonna test both of these options out. We're gonna use the SM7B without the D-Booster and then we're gonna use it with it and kind to see where it lies and what the differences are. And this is just one of the things that is an issue with this, you know? There's a there's some other things that we can talk about, but that's gonna be the first thing we tackle. Let's head out. This place is only like five minutes from the studio, so we probably could've just walked here. Next time, send some mixes. I'll do some, uh, some car test mixes and listen to them on the way. I think this is it. Hey, how's it going, guys? Well, this is indeed Royer. You wanna be Royer, Royer. Hey, how's it going? Good, welcome. Uh, Miami from JST. Like I said, I, I met you like a few years ago back at NAMM. We were doing something for- I think it was supposed to be for like an R10 microphone or something like that. But super excited to be here and wanna thank you guys so much for these. 6 two, JST. You know, everyone always wants to know my name actually is Miami Dolphin, so I have to sign it like that right here. But yeah, we picked up these D boosters and one of these is gonna be going to you guys and you'll find out a little bit more about that later in the video, so come on. So big shout out to Royer Labs for giving us both of these. Um, one of those is going to one of you, but as you guys know, we have a piece of audio hardware and a box cutter, which means one of you is gonna get it. And I guess you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out how. Let's open this thing up. As I expect, very nice packaging in here. What's crazy about this is they said that they were gonna give us the singular unit, but they gave us the two channel one. And I think this would also work amazing if you have ribbon mics and you're trying to push those. That's what my first thought would be. So reading through this, not only are you going to be getting two channels to be able to boost your signal, but you're also getting two dedicated DI boxes in this one simple little design here. I I kind of want to like open one of these and like see what the inside of this looks like because I just don't know how they're doing all this in such a small little unit here, but it's Royer, so you know it's going to be quality. It feels extremely nice. And even this little like rubber bottom here that has like the Royer imprint, everything about this thing is beautiful. I'm not going to bore you guys and tell you to read the manual, but I'll skim over it. 12 dB and 20 dB gain stages in mic mode, 0 dB or 8 dB gain in high Z guitar input. So yeah, it has a high input impedance, balanced low output impedance, 
and obviously of course the case is really nice really low noise and performance that's what it says well let's test it out and see if it really stands up to uh, everything that's on this piece of paper i'm sure it will but we gotta see we have to know right because i'll be honest with you guys like for me this isn't something that i really think about too often because i do have some pretty solid go-to that I don't have to worry about it. But if you're using something like a Focusrite Scarlet or this little guy that I'm using right here, the uh, the Audient Evo 4, pretty cool. Shout out to Audient for sending me this guy because I've actually been using this and recording with it when I've been traveling, but it will just give you a much cleaner signal, supposedly. And we're gonna find that out in a minute. Check, check, check. All right, so we're gonna be testing this first without using the D-Booster and we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna sing Issues, drink about it because why not? Oh, why you do that? There's a million other things that you're good at. I'm singing, oh, before I spill it, I'll let your brain come out for me. I don't want to know. <laughs> so that was without the D booster. Now we're going to check and compare how that sounds with it popped in. Check. Um, right off rip, this is a lot louder. Um, I had to turn the gain boost off. Let's give it another go. Oh, why you do that? There's a million other things that you do that. Singing, oh, for us feel it. I let your brain run for a minute. I'm listening to this right now. I'm gonna play it back for you guys in a second. But instantaneously, the first thing that comes to my mind is the one with the D booster has this high-end sheen to it that like sounds like it's going through a nice preamp. Um, I've never had that experience with something like this before and it just overall sounds a little bit more interesting It's less muddy. It just clears the entire thing right up So I'm gonna play that for you guys back to back right now so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about Oh, why you do that? There's a million other things that you do that I'm singing, oh, before I spill it I'll let your brain run for a minute really interesting results and I think that this is an insane difference I don't think I would track an SM7B without having one of these again pretty wild shout out to Royal Labs once again for just being so cool and giving me one of these and also allowing me to give one to you guys so like I said before all you guys have to do to enter is like and comment on this YouTube video a week from when it comes out a winner is gonna be picked in it's gonna be randomly generated, so there's no favoritism. Everybody's got a shot. Well, that's pretty much what we expected from somebody like Royer to make an amazing product that kind of changes the game. Besides the fact that this thing is going to boost your signal on your dynamic and your ribbon mic, it's a really high quality DI input. I mean, that DI is the same quality that you're gonna get in like a thousand dollar preamp, which is insane for the price point that they have it at. But then again, you might not even have to pay for it. You might just win the thing, right? I'm rooting for each and every one of you. But there is another thing that I do wanna talk about that's a problem with the SM7B. And it has a lot to do with the mid range and the way that it builds up. I always find myself having to cut somewhere in the 300, 400 Hertz area with this thing and when I roll off on it sometimes I'm rolling off up to 150 Hertz which is pretty hefty on top of that it doesn't really take a lot of high-end information so it's kind of like on a tilt right you're gonna cut more from the low end so that it feels like a more balanced signal right I think the last time that you guys saw me using an SM7B I was doing a different giveaway and it was for the Daking Mic Pre which powered it very nicely. You guys can take a listen to that right here and we'll play a clip of it for a second just so you can hear what it sounded like. This is gospel for the fallen ones locked away in permanent slumber assembling their philosophies from pieces of broken memories. But even while doing that, I had to do some scooping and shaping of the source signal because the SM7B just kind of sounds a little dull and muddy. And I just don't think that it's always a great fit. And one more thing about that song that you were listening to, notice I was really singing in my low, like this is gospel for the fallen ones. Like I'm pretty low down there, right? And trying to gain it at that point, you definitely are gonna need something like an expensive mic pre or of course the D booster. But let me show you on a graph the way that you can EQ an SM7B so that it's a little bit more pleasing to your ears. Another thing, I don't wanna just talk negatively about the SM7B. I mean, 
It's an extremely durable mic. It's not the cheapest mic in the world, but it's still pretty affordable. What are these things like 350, 400 bucks? Like that's not crazy for a microphone when people are spending like $12,000 for a Sony C800 or like four or $5,000 for a red mic from Chandler or something like that. Like it's really not that bad. It's pretty tried and true. So instead of forcing ourselves to go into the higher range, we need to really work with the things that we already have. But sometimes when we want to work with the things we have, we have to somewhat band-aid the situation because we didn't spend all that money ahead of time. And this is like the perfect product for that. You don't necessarily need the two channel one. One channel would be just fine. But yeah, like I was saying, it's an extremely durable mic. Like I hear that you could throw this thing off of a roof and it would still be fine after you did it. They say this thing's basically indestructible. Okay not that indestructible a uh, little bit of a dented growth i mean i don't think it's gonna affect the sound realistically but uh i mean i got a d booster out of it they're like the same price i'm gonna call it a squash and another thing about the sm7b that people tend to have problems with even when you have this pop filter on here you still deal with plosives a lot of the time a lot of the and the both of those are really susceptible to causing problems with the sm7b and you have to put another pop filter in front of the thing also taking the cone off and just using the pop filter by itself changes the sound of it and it's not really as intended when they made the thing but yeah the other thing that i didn't mention in this video how do you guys win the thing all you have to do is just comment below on this youtube video and within one week of when the video goes out one random person that comments will be selected and we're going to pin the comment of that person so you just have to come back and check and that person will be awarded the d booster they'll have the d booster too for nothing you guys comment anyway so you're like basically entering something for free so yeah those are my biggest problems that i have with the sm7b number one always the way that the gain staging is two you have to eq the hell out of the thing to get it to sound the right way and three even with the pop filter on you still have to deal with plosives and other little things that happen with the microphone. As somebody that really has a lower register all the way up to a very high range, this microphone isn't necessarily for somebody like me to be singing into. I much prefer singing into a condenser, but if I had nothing else, which some of you have nothing else, I thought it would make a lot of sense to show you guys some ways that you could fix it. And on top of that, what I wanna give you guys is a couple of presets for Howard Benson vocals. I'm gonna put them in a dock in this video so that you guys can and then pop those on and it'll kind of help your little issues that you're having whether you're screaming or whether you're singing you can input those and they're tailored specifically to being used with the sm7b so hope you guys enjoyed this video best of luck to everybody that's entering into the contest and i hope you think a little bit more now about how you can get some really good clean signal instead of you know cranking a preamp because just just think about it how much could they have really spent on the preamp inside of something that costs like a hundred or two hundred dollars like not much right it already has to have the actual interface itself it has converters it has the headphone jack it has what i like how much could they have spent five bucks so just think about that next time when you're looking into your purchases and figure out some solutions that can help you guys along your way are there any other questions you guys have regarding the sm7b do you feel like it's actually not that hard to do anything with and you have no problems with it leave it in the comments below and i will chat with you fine people like I always do.